right, welcome. So, you may be wondering how to make a custom theme, and that's what this video will be all about. In this video, we'll be covering two different methods, one of which will use a template, the other one will use a means of editing the code of the site itself by means just for you, so using inspect element. Starting off with the template, these are a few files I prepared. Um, this one here uh, isn't being used, so you end up with this, but I added this so you can make it a bit more visible. Uh, they consist of, let's first add a nice blue so you can see what's going on, add full alpha to it. So they consist of text, cards and a uh, header, which you can swap out, and the pattern. So how would you go about making a theme? Well, first off, let's plop down a different background. So for my selection, I'm going to use this program here. This is uh, paint.net and I use this tool here to draw a gradient. Bam. It's of course not as pretty or anything, but uh, it's mainly just to make a point. So here we got our generic blue. Uh, now we can see the stars are a little uh, bright, so I'm gonna change the transparency of these on the background layer. So they blend a bit better, looks much nicer now. And now I'm gonna target all the cards and give these their own color as well. For example, uh, make these a bit blue. I uh, might want to add a new layer to this and delete them here. Alright, that's one. And I'm gonna use a more bright color for the featured ones. Select. and look at that we have our custom cards and slightly transparent it is advised to keep them transparent now I'm gonna change the header card a bit selecting it oh, and this one I'm gonna make uh, for example pink And there you see, um, that's all that's really needed. Hit this one, and you essentially have your own custom theme, it's that easy. If you want, you can fill in an image here, or add your name, if you think it looks nice, or change the col uh, colors of the button. But that uh, involves the entire process, essentially. Yeah, I gotta fix this up. Now for the bit more complicated one, going back to the levels page. I'm gonna do inspect or control shift I and it opens this menu here and you can amplify the styling for the elements. So here you can see the styles and as you can see here uh, you've got here the square hue theme and you want to edit things like the background so uh, we can change this to like green as you can see make sure the syntax stays the same and now we can amplify this thing here so 
Um, let's put this one to like 100. 27 to 94 no. <laughs> it really doesn't look too nice I'm not gonna lie but you do get a more responsive change and you get a color picker but you do have to fix the syntax you can see scroll bar elements here for the track I yeah, this should be the scroll bar itself. If you click specifically on this thing and inspect, um, can be more specific. Uh, you see this here, the jumbo front, and you can essentially change its background color here. You can see me switching it on and off, which affects the way it looks. You can click also on this card here and make sure you got the card one and look for background color property you can see it changes as well featured card is part of the featured cards and you can swap out all of these styles there's lots of them which you can look through but uh, if you want to edit something just make sure to right click inspect and we'll change it if you wish to submit your entry make sure to go to the events page and uh, just provide all details, upload something if you have anything to upload, link something if you have something to link, um, as long as it it's a valid submission. Uh, I'll make sure that uh, you can vote on submissions after the uh, event is over. If you have any questions, make sure to either ask in the comments, on the site, or on Discord, and I'll be sure to get to them as soon as possible. Good luck.